My name is Miguel Alberto. I'm undocumented, unafraid, and ashamed, and I refuse to be intimidated and bullied by this committee. Go back home. We don't need I refuse to be intimidated, and I choose to empower my community. This is a nation of immigrants, a nation of people who have come seeking only to sing America. I call on you as members of this committee to fashion only legislation that reflects the best of this nation. I just think personally it's a sad day when the taxpayers are asked to pay money to buy for contraceptives to keep young women who should not have sex but are having sex from becoming pregnant. And if these young women were responsible people and didn't have the sex to begin with, we wouldn't be in this situation. But unfortunately, that's the problem that we have. We have the technical expertise to safely drill and frack natural gas. Maybe it can be done right here. I don't know. But let's slow the heck down and, and make sure that we have rights for us as landowners before anything else happens. We have no one in the state of North Carolina living in extreme poverty. We might governmentally say they are, but they're not. I am confident that there are groups that encourage voter fraud in North Carolina. How can you take away the right that they have to vote, but to point your fingers at just Democrats? That's ludicrous. That is absolutely ludicrous. I cannot believe you said that. It is a very broad constitutional amendment that covers more than same-sex marriage. I think it's going to hurt us in economic recruitment. And we always have to be mindful of, of the uh, appropriateness of government expanding to control people's lives, even if it's for something that we personally support. And just to be clear, you think this is appropriate? Yeah, I do. I do. I think, you know, it's why we passed it, that the House uh, took the lead in moving the bill to begin with that came out of the House. Uh, and over to the Senate, and I think it's an important measure to leave it to the people to decide.